Ive is an open source NoSQL database solution that offers a variety of advantages for storing and managing large data sets. These advantages are offline support, efficient data handling, type safety, encryption, and scalability. The best thing is that it supports all platforms supported by Flutter. So let's see how we can implement Hive database in our Flutter applications. Go to pubspec.yml file and add Hive and Hive Flutter in dependencies section. Next, also add Hive generator and build runner in dev dependencies section to generate Hive code to perform CRUD operations. We initialize the Hive database, go to main dot dot file and initialize widgets binding first and then use Hive dot init flutter method to initialize it. In Hive, the concept of boxes is fundamental to its data storage model. All data in the Hive database is stored in boxes. It is essentially a collection or container for storing data in the form of key value pairs. A box represents a table-like structure but it does not have a structure and contain anything inside it. Before we can use a box, we have to open it. For a small app, a single box might be enough. For more advanced problems, boxes are a great way to organize the data. Boxes can also be encrypted to store sensitive data. There are two different methods to open a box which are open box and box the main difference between open box and box methods of hive database is that open box creates a new box and opens it if it does not already exist if the box is already open the instance is returned and all provided parameters are ignored while box method is used to get an already opened box hive stores a reference to all open boxes hive supports all primitive and other data types as you can see here, we can add an integer, string, boolean, list, and map in a box. We want to store custom data or object in local storage using Hive database. If we want to store other types of data, then we must create an object of that data and objects are stored using type adapters. Any object can be stored using type adapters. So basically, we can store custom objects in Hive boxes using the type adapters. Type adapter converts the object from and to binary form. It's necessary to register all type adapters before opening any boxes. So inside our models folders, let's create note dot dot. Let's create a class named note and extend this class from Hive object. To generate or use a type adapter for a class, we have to annotate it with the Hive type. Hive type has two parameters, required type ID and optional adapter name. All type IDs between 0 and 223 are allowed. Let's set the type ID to 0 here. Next, we are defining two fields, title and description for this class with its constructor. To use these fields for Hive database, we have to annotate all fields with Hive field. Hive field has two properties, index which is required and default value which is optional. Index should be unique for every field of Hive database so we can access it easily later. Let's set the index to 0 for title and 1 for description. Now write part note dot g dot dot under the imported libraries and then type this command in terminal and press enter. Now you can see an auto generated dot file named note dot g dot dot with the help of build runner and hive generator packages. Now go to main dot dot file. First register the type adapter by calling register adapter method of hive database and then call open box method with box type. Open box has multiple properties like name is a positional parameter, it specifies the storage location and is used to check if a box already exists. It is case insensitive. All other parameters are named like encryption cipher key comparator, compaction strategy, crash recovery, path, bytes collection and encryption key. Path parameter is used to go to a subdirectory with the help of path provider package. E is the type parameter which tells the type of the values in the box. It's always better to create a box class separate from the UE screen. So let's create boxes dot dot file inside boxes folder. We are defining the get notes method in boxes class to access the open box of type note and we will use it in our home screen. Next, let's go to home screen dot dot file and initialize title controller and description controller. Also remember to close all boxes, hive database and text controllers to free up resources. Inside build function, we are creating an app bar. And for body, we are using value listenable builder widget of Flutter because we want our widgets to refresh based on the data stored in Hive. 
it has two required parameters value listenable and builder listenable method of hive box provides a value listenable builder requires a callback function that takes three parameters context box and a placeholder that is not being used here let's convert box of type note to a list of notes to use inside the list view builder and then return list view builder set the item count to box dot length item builder of list view builder is a callback function it takes context and index let's initialize a single note by calling notes into index we are returning a card inside it inside card we are using a column ramp by padding widget for the first child we are using a row with no title update icon and delete icon icons are wrapped by a guest detector to tap on them for delete icon guest detector we are simply calling the delete method of hive database on node difference between delete method and close method is that delete method deletes the box and its data will be permanently removed and close method does not delete the box it just free up the resources used by the box for update icon guest detectors on tap property we are calling show edit or create dialog method let's create show edit or create dialog method here its title parameter is required because it will be used by update note button as well as add note button add its note parameter is optional if we call this method for update button then we will pass node parameter to it for adding a new node we will not pass node because node is not yet created inside this method first we are assigning the title and description of node to title controller and description controller if node is not null next we are showing our dialog by returning show dialog method it has two required parameter context and builder for context we are passing context of build method builder takes a callback function with one parameter parameter which is context we are returning alert dialog for title we are using title parameter with notes text for content property let's wrap the column widget with single child scroll view inside column we are using two text form fields one for title and another for description for actions parameter we are using two text buttons for first button we are popping alert dialog for second button we are checking if note is not null then call added note method else call create note method let's define find these two methods below for added note method note parameter is required to edit the note first we are saving the text of title controller and description controller in title and description of note then we are calling save method of note after this we are calling clear note method to clear text fields and popping from alert dialog let's also define clear note method here we are simply clearing the text of title controller and description controller for create note method we are storing data in note class format then first we are opening box and then adding data in it in the last we are clearing text fields by calling clear note method and popping from alert dialog for the second child of column we are using note description in the end we are using floating action button to add new notes for its on pressed property we are calling show edit or create dialog method and passing only title parameter to it now let's check if our app is working fine let's add or create a new note by clicking on floating action button let's set the title to today tasks and some random letters for description click on add button here it is showing on home page we can also update it let's click on the edit icon button and change the title to my daily tasks click on update button and see this note has been updated on home page and we can also delete this note let's click on delete icon see the note has been deleted successfully so from initializing a hive to working with boxes registering type adapters and displaying data on our apps ui we have covered it all with this knowledge you are ready to build robust flutter applications that efficiently handle data storage happy coding